I'll go ahead and cover all of my bases depending on when you are watching this. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. Uh, it is my privilege to bring to you uh, the devotional for this day of our 10 days of prayer and fasting. And today we are going to focus on joy. We're going to focus on joy. Uh, where we have been reading here in the book of Galatians, we'll look at the scripture uh, in chapter 5, verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Verse 23, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in in the Spirit. If we have the Spirit of God, then we should be showing the fruit of the Spirit. If we live in the Spirit, we should also walk in the Spirit. That tells me that if I have the Spirit of God, that it should lead me, it should guide me, and along the way, whenever I have the fruit of the Spirit, others Others can get those aspects of the fruit of the Spirit, those aspects of the Lord that will bless their life, even if they don't have the Spirit of God. And today we're talking about joy, the joy of the Lord. See, Nehemiah, he said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Whenever you don't have joy, trust in the Lord. Trust in the Spirit of God. Whenever you do not have strength, Trust in the Lord. Why? Because it is not my joy. It is not your joy. It's not some random person that's just got some good words to say, but does not have the, the Spirit of God and a walk with the Lord. No, it is the joy of the Lord that is our strength. And if you are somebody that is filled with the Spirit of God, and just as you uh, experienced the evidence of the Spirit of God, the evidence of the initial infilling of the Holy Ghost by speaking in other tongues as the Spirit gave you the utterance, you will also experience the fruit of the Spirit. If you don't just live in it, but you walk in the Spirit. You walk in that same Spirit that filled you, that came into your heart and now is living and dwelling within you and wanting to operate through you. You see, we, uh, we had a funny experience, my wife and I, this, this fall. We came home one day and we discovered that there were, there were five, six, seven people that were in our backyard. Uh, we didn't recognize all of them, uh, but we did recognize some of our neighbors. And what they were doing is each of them were there to grab apples off of the apple tree that is in our yard. And we didn't have a problem with this. Um, in fact, it has kind of become known that anybody can come over and grab apples off of that tree. I mean, they had ladders and they had poles. They had Some of them had specific uh, apple grabbing uh, mechanisms, things that they had prepared and were ready for the apples of this tree. And so um, it was a, a surprising thing to come home to. Um, but it brought me joy. It brought me joy to know that uh, we had something that other people uh, were being blessed with and that they enjoyed to come and get. Uh, and this morning when I was thinking about this devotional and thinking about what I was going to say, I couldn't get my mind off of that because it, it was just a simple reminder that we should be just like that tree. Everywhere that we go, Everywhere that we are daily, whether it's at work or at school, perhaps even with our family, we have the Spirit of God, and we should be like that tree that everyone around us knows they can come to us whenever they feel down. They can come to us and they can experience the joy of the Lord that will bring strength to their life and to their situation. Why? Because it's not just for us, but it's for those around us. That's what walking and living in the Spirit is about. It's about blessing others and letting the Spirit of God move through you. I pray that you have a great day in the Lord, and God bless you. We can't wait for church tonight.